So we have decided that we're going to ring up Gosh and chase up these results. We're still waiting his impending BMA results to see whether he is cancer free still. And um, yeah, we've said that we wait patiently to hear, but enough's enough now. We want to know what 2024 looks like before we go into it. So I'm for the first time going to make a phone call and um, see if I can chase up these results. And I am shaking. I don't want to know, but I do want to know. So here goes. Welcome back to our channel, Life with the Bridges. For those who don't know us, this is me, Scott. This is my wife, Katie, and this is our son, Super Ted. We are the Bridge family, trying to get the most out of this rat race we all call life. In September 2021, we found our dreams had come true. We were expecting a new addition to the Bridge family. We spent the next nine months, like any normal parents would, preparing our life for the arrival of our new baby boy. On the 11th of May 2022, at 11.11am, we were blessed with the birth of our son. He was perfect. We instantly felt love like we'd never experienced before, and our family of four we've always dreamed of was finally complete. We had the most magical first eight months with Teddy, experienced all that life had to offer. Then, on the 24th of February 2023, our whole world got turned upside down when we got told our nine month old son had been diagnosed with high risk AML leukemia. Do not take life for granted. We spent the next six months, 184 days to be exact, at Great Ormond Street Hospital. He endured two rounds of chemotherapy, a full bone marrow transplant, in hope that this would save our son's life. It was important to us that we documented every part of his journey to raise awareness and give childhood cancer the exposure it deserves. After riding the hellish and unpredictable storm, Teddy made it to the end of his treatment and rang that bell. You are joining us now in our next chapter of this journey at home at Bridge HQ as we try to rebuild our life and continue to spread awareness about what it's like to have a child post-cancer and transplant in hope that this second chance at life we've been given is forever. So if you're interested in following our journey, don't forget to like our videos, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell as we document our life as the Bridge family. Thank you for calling Great Ormond Street Hospital for children. If you know the extension number you require, please hold while we try to connect you. This is long. It's always the way when I finally pluck up the courage to ring and chase these results. Nobody answers. Maybe we'll have to send an email. Email it is. Oh. Ah, the wait continued. Why can we not get hold of these goddamn results? Literally, in my heart, I don't want them, but I know that we need them. and. It's just going on too long now. It's over three weeks. And I just want to know. It's always the way. I just had a phone call from the hospital whilst I was in Tesco's paying. So I asked them to ring me back. So I'm about to ring them back. Here goes. Please hold while we try to connect you. This is not ideal, making a phone call in Tesco's car park. But it just shows you how urgent and over this we are. Come on. It actually rang me two minutes ago. Hello, BMT Adult speaking. Hi there. Um, I rang up around about um, five minutes ago regarding my son Teddy's BMA results. She said that she's going to ring me back. I was just paying for something in the shop. Okay. So is she available to uh, speak now? Do you know the name of the nurse? I, I didn't quite catch it. As I said, I was in a supermarket. Okay. Uh, I'll put you through. Come on, please. <sighs> Don't turn my life upside down now. Hello? 
Hi, it's Scott Bridge, father of Teddy Bridge. Hi, yeah. How are you doing? You um, okay? I'm okay. How about you? Yeah, good, thank you. Did you guys have a lovely Christmas? We did have a lovely Christmas, yes, thank you, yeah. Oh, that's good. How about yourself? Um, it was great, thank you. Good. Um, I think I told Katie maybe last week all the results that were back, but I can tell you as well. So the flow MRD and the morphology are both negative. Negative. The molecular MRD is still pending. That's the one that is a send away sample. So it takes a few weeks. Oh, that's that's the one the I was... Engraftment. Yeah, that's the oh, one yeah, I was, so I was bringing up for. Back. That's still not back. That's why um, we haven't told you. It's still not back. Okay. Um, the engraftment is stable, so the whole blood is... 98 from yeah. uh, 91. Yeah. The CD3, the T cells remain at 73. The CD15, the granulocytes remain at 100%. And then in terms of the bone marrow um, engraftment, he showed bone marrow 96% and the CD34, which we call the sep cells, 94%. Yeah. Those are the results that we've got. Um, normally, we've no, the, the send away samples, it takes anything from four to six weeks. Because of the Christmas period, I don't know if that will... Four to six weeks? Or not. Four to six weeks. Yeah. Every time we speak to someone, it seems to kind of like extend. Like when we spoke to our initial consultant, they were saying two weeks. And then when it got to two weeks, they said, oh, it can take anywhere to up to three weeks. And then now we've been told that it's four to six weeks. That's what that's what we have seen previously um, with other with other send away samples, to be fair. Um, that's how long they've taken um, for other patients. Okay. Um, as soon as we get it, like I normally do, I'll send an email. I normally send it to Katie because I think I've got Katie's email. Is that all right? Yeah, we'll just keep waiting. <laughs> okay. Sorry about no that. No problem. Take care. And, uh, but as soon, as soon as I hear something, because he comes on my like, little inbox, as soon as we hear something, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys know. Yeah, please do. Thank okay. you. No worries. Thank Cheers, you. Bye. bye. Now. What a joke. All this apprehension of like, is going to be here in two weeks? Is it going to be here before Christmas? Is it going to be here before New Year's? And then they've changed the goalposts again. It's now four to six weeks. So yesterday was three weeks, which we thought was the end of the scale. And now we're looking at four to six weeks. <sighs> it's just gutting. We just want to know now. <sighs> hey, ho, nothing I can do about it. Benchmark has kind of moved. And we just uh, continue to enjoy our time with Teddy. But it's gutting. But at least I haven't rung up and it is a bad result. It's not the case. It's just a still a pending result. So we continue to move on forward. This is the thing about hospitals and waiting for results is that for families like mine, it is life changing. And I know these, these doctors and nurses are only doing their jobs and they're they're just, they probably are trying to get it through as quick as possible. But for every day that goes past is gut wrenching for us. And it makes a huge difference, you know? Like, if you tell someone something, i.e., results will be back in two weeks, I know there's a lot of hands that will be passed in that process. But you've got to stick to your word, you know? Like, we've, we had a horrendous two weeks the whole up coming up to Christmas because we weren't sure whether our son had relapsed or not. And so we were discussing this year that our Christmas has kind of been tarnished by waiting for results. But if they had told us from the start that it could take up to six weeks, then we would have relaxed completely knowing that we weren't expecting any results. Whereas that's not the case. They told us it will be back within two weeks. So we've kind of sat there gritting our teeth for two weeks, not really doing too much over Christmas, purely to keep him safe just in case we had to go back into hospital. And yeah. I don't know. Pointless waffle, pointless rant, but it's just frustrating, you know. Like, I kind of told our friends and family and you guys that we're expecting these results and just constant disappointment. But one day they'll come back and they better come back clear, otherwise, we've wasted all this time. And the other thing is, you can't prepare yourself for these results because now they're saying four to six weeks. The margin is huge now, so they could just come at any moment. Whereas when we were expecting them within two weeks, every day we're like, right, okay, it could be today kind of big brave face on barriers up let's get ready for it whereas now they could just catch you by surprise and dump some results on you at any moment hey ho waffle over <sighs> time to continue to enjoy the rest of 2023 as much as we can i guess <laughs> Are you having a nice day, Daddy? Uh, 
masuk di peta So the festive period has come to an end um, We had the most amazing Christmas day and Boxing Day And uh, we took some time off for filming from after Boxing Day Just for a few days And in all honesty In the video you've seen previously about When I finally took the plunge and rang up the doctors to try and chase these BMA results for them to turn around and tell us that it could be four to six weeks until we find out the results really really just took the wind out of our sails to be honest with you the wednesday we had the bma we got told that it will be roughly around about a week and for us to potentially be waiting six up to six weeks it's just really it was gutting for us to be honest so since boxing day just to put down the camera and just taking a little bit of time for ourselves yeah the next big festivity is the end of the year i guess in new year's eve and unexpectedly we've got new year's eve off uh, we had no plans whatsoever we're just going to be a really nice chilled one at home and my mum and stepdad aren't doing anything so they have offered to have teddy for overnight and myself and katie have got the night off which will be absolutely lovely and um, we are way past the stage of going out partying i think but what we are going to do is just go old school, jump on a bus in the day and uh, head into our local town and just have a few beers in the pub with no responsibilities, nothing to get home for. And yeah, just keep it really chill. So we're looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to ending 2023 and uh, starting 2024 with hopefully a more of a positive year. But we just wanted to take the time out just to say a huge, huge thank you to you guys as our community. We started this YouTube channel in hope that we would be able to spread awareness of our journey with Teddy throughout his fight against AML leukemia. And uh, to have the growth that we've had and build the community that we have within you guys has just been absolutely incredible, more than we could ever have hoped for. And so we continue to push this channel further and further into the 2024 and uh, yeah, branch off in many different directions in terms of what we want to do with our future. So uh, to each and every one of you, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you so much for your support, your comments, and all your love. So we are going to continue to have a little bit of downtime until New Year's Eve, which is actually tomorrow, to be fair, and um, which we're going to take you with us on mine and Kate's little kind of bar crawl into town and the mummy and daddy hit the town sensibly in the day and just enjoy our evening roll on 2024 and i hope it brings everyone heaps and heaps of positivity happy memories and that we're all here still blessed to be on this earth and have a chance to live another day as we enter 2024 we have so many amazing things planned we have plenty of adventures with our caravan as we go exploring some of the best campsites in the UK. But with unfortunately the unknown uncertainties of Teddy and his diagnosis, we don't know where we're gonna be and we don't know what is in store for us in 2024, whether it be the good, the bad or the ugly. One thing is for sure is that we'll be taking you guys with us every step of the way and hopefully it'll be nothing but positive fun videos for you here at Life with the Bridges. Whoever, whenever and wherever we go with you guys will be coming with us good morning it is new year's eve it is the last day of 2023 and my goodness am i glad to see the back of 2023 i'm just out on a lovely extra long dog walk this morning with willow because as of around about two o'clock today, we will be dropping Teddy off at my mum's, so Teddy's nanny's. Myself and Katie are going on a bar crawl into our local town, which I'm really excited about because we don't go out often. And when we do go out, we just nice time to just reflect and enjoy. And it's a lovely way to end the year, hopefully just reflecting on the year it's been and hopefully what year we've got to come in 2024. So yeah, we've actually managed to rope in a few of our friends to kind of come down and have a few drinks with us. But it's gonna be very much a day thing. Into town to the first cozy pub, stop off for a drink or two. So yeah, we'll take you guys with us. It should be a bit of fun and a lovely way to end the year. Yeah, we've already done Teddy's sticker this morning. We had to do it twice because it was itching him for the first time. So that sticker is now done. So it's just about getting packed up, getting all his meds sorted and um, yeah, sending him off to Nanny's for an overnight stay. Roll on Tunbridge Wells Bar Crawl. Let's go. But before I go, I wanted to share with you a few of my goals for 2024. What I'm going to try and improve on and reach within next year. My first one is I want to try and be the best 
father and husband to Kate and Teddy. And that doesn't mean just trying hard. It means opening these ears and trying to improve on anything that potentially could be done better. My number two is we currently have just over 7,000 of you beautiful lot that have subscribed to our channel here at Life with the Bridges. And that has taken just over six or seven months to achieve this, which is beyond our wildest dreams. But this time next year, I'm aiming to have around 30,000 subscribers just so we can help continue to raise awareness of childhood cancer as we're documenting our life pre, post and during the treatment as we have. Big ask, big boots to fill, but with your help, we can do that and achieve that this year. And my third and final goal for 2024 is to do everything in my power, even though it's out of my control, to help Teddy get to 12 months cancer free. That's my biggest goal of the year. We can make it to one year post transplant cancer free. That is beyond our wildest dreams. So there are my three things. Actually, I've got a bonus one. I wanna go on a shitload of adventures as well. But there are my three and a half little goals I have for this year. And I will do everything in my power to make sure that all of them happen. And uh, yeah, it's good to have little goals. So make sure you pop in the comments what your New Year's resolutions and goals are for 2024. Because it'd be lovely to hear from our community on what you're trying to improve on this year and uh, or next year. Yeah, pop them in the comments below. But that is officially the last waffle of 2023 done and dusted. The next video you will see will be us on our bar crawl welcoming in 2023. We definitely probably won't make it till 12 o'clock because we're old farts, but we can raise a glass at nine o'clock before we put our wee willy winky pajamas on and snuggle down for bed at whatever early time it is. Wishing everyone a happy new year. We hope everyone has a positive and brilliant start to 2024. Wasting money on cures Forgot how to fix myself They say that time is free Then why is it so precious? Oh, I'll say With the dog walk done, it was time to prepare all of Teddy's meds for his overnight stay and then drop Teddy off at Nanny's and go out to put an end to the hardest year of our life. Although this year was unimaginably hard, somewhere through the murky memories and difficult times, we are eternally grateful for every day of last year as we were given a chance to save our son's life. It's also shifted our perspective in what we want from life, which is absolutely priceless. We try not to think too much about this year or what's to come next year, but what we actually need to concentrate on is now. Each minute, hour and day, we are blessed with each other and to be humble and grateful for the time that we are gifted with on this earth. Uh, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! We had a lovely evening, spent the whole night chatting and putting the worlds to right. And although we weren't gonna make it to the night, this set of piddled parents were certainly glad to see our dog, Willow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> with one of our babies safely at Nanny's, it was lovely to spend some time with our fur baby, and she appreciated it, even if we had one too many drinks. And what on earth do you do when you've had one too many drinks? Book a new adventure. That's what you do. We have got some exciting times to come. Spontaneous caravan adventure awaits. That just about rounds up this video. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Make sure you come back for our next video when we enter 2024 with the harsh reality of our post bone marrow transplant journey. You honestly couldn't write it. Just come home from work. This one's spiking a fever. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. Good timing, mate. We are off to hospital to celebrate our anniversary <laughs> and my birthday. Happy 2024 to us. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you get reminded when we put up a video. And remember, live for today, as tomorrow is never promised. Happy New Year, guys.